Miss Prinny's back at the start. I am. <laughs> You've done a lot of stuff here over the years. I have to say, I keep finding myself back here again and again and again. It's become and continues to become one of the biggest, you know, iconic places in the city. Yeah, it's good to be back. I've seen you sing at Rock Lily a few times. That's a great little room, isn't it? You know what I love about that room? It's so neutral. Um, I actually took the cast that I'm working with now there on Sunday night. I always find that the Rock Lily, especially when I play there on like a long weekend, because it is in the casino, it, it just appeals to so many people. Mm. You would be referring to the cast and crew of Thrill Alive. I am indeed. The fabulous show that you performed with on the West End of London. Yeah, oh goodness. I went to London, I learnt the show in about a week and finally went and watched the show for the first time and then got pulled on stage after I think the second number. This is in front of a sold out show, the West End of London. West End of London, the Lyric Theatre, you can just feel the, the energy and, and the history in that room and I just, I just know I've worked so hard for so many years for moments like that. Mm. Thrill Alive has been running for how long in London? Uh, oh goodness, eight Five, years. Six, eight years, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, eight years now. Wow. Yeah. Tell us about it. The show, I think a lot of people get confused. They don't know what to expect. It really is just a celebration of his songs. There isn't too much narrative. There are little, uh, I guess, statistics and little things about Michael Jackson you wouldn't know, but there's not too much talking. It's all about the singing. It's all about getting everybody up to dance. It's all about just remembering the songs and the legacy that Michael left. So it's not a jukebox musical like Jersey Boys or Mamma Mia? No, no. it's. They call it more of a concert. It really is more of a concert. And there's five singers, we share the songs. It's our interpretation of Michael. There is one guy who dresses as Michael and does the Billie Jean, but... Um, does the moonwalk He stuff. does the moonwalk, he walks down the steps in Billie Jean. Um, so we have a few of those iconic things, but it really is just a celebration of him and his music and his life. The music of Michael Jackson has never been more popular, has it? Well, it probably has, but I mean, it's... No, but you're right. I think he, this is just a testimony to him and, and the amazing music that he wrote. I think watching the kids come is, is the best part. Watching my daughter come along and all the kids that come along, they're now jumping on YouTube and watching all the amazing videos that we've reenacted in the show, things like Smooth Criminal and Thriller and things like that, which is it's great to see the next generation get inspired by Michael. What is it about his music that makes it so enduring? Listening to the a cappellas of his music and now doing the show for a few months, songs like Earth Song, where they don't really care about us, um, he really meant every single syllable that he said and he lived it and how much he tried to help the environment and songs like Earth Song and Heal the World and all those sorts of things. He believed that with every being of his soul. That's a lot to say, especially in the music industry that we're in now, you know, for somebody to stand up for things like that. I admire him and I'm, I fall deeper and deeper into music every night. He was such a perfectionist too, wasn't he? He was just striving for the absolute best of everything. Those songs are so beautifully crafted. They, they were so magnificently produced. Yep. Couldn't better that stuff, could you? No, and even in his music videos, he thought about everything from his costumes to the dancers to every single thing. There's never been anyone like him and I don't think there ever will be. I think with five of us trying to portray him, it would take a lot more, but you couldn't just put all of that pressure one person. So who else is in the show? Uh, we have Jay Rome from America, Miguel Ayesa who's a oh, fellow I love Aussie. Miguel, yes. he's fantastic. He does most of the uh, rock stuff like uh, Dirty Diana, She's Out of My Life. He played Richie Valens in the, yep. the Buddy Holly show. He did, he did. I think he's probably the biggest uh, musical theatre part of the show and he brings a lot of years and years of experience that I know it's been amazing to be around. Yeah. What songs do you get to sing? Oh gosh, I get so many cool songs. Um, <laughs> the Way You Make Me Feel, I do ABC, Never Can Say Goodbye, I'll Be There, oh. um, Earth Song. I, I get a lot. I, the female role gets a big chunk of the songs because vocally he just, he sang so high. It's, it's hard for the boys to, to do that. It's great, the, the boys are amazing. We have Alex Buchanan, who's from London as well, and Wayne is Robertson as well. You're the only girl? I'm the only girl. Wow, how's it's, that? It's a big role to play, but it's I'm a bit of a tomboy, so I love it. <laughs> I'll be there. I mean, just hold it right there. Mariah <laughs> Carey's done a great version of that song. A lot of people have 
done it. It's, it's one of the finest songs ever written. I play that song probably every second day, Michael's version, just to be reminded because there's been so many renditions. You really want to keep it true and keep it to what Michael did. And he sang songs so simply and with such taste. And so I try not to listen to the other versions. I have to do Michael's. He was pretty young when he did that. Wasn't I think he, he was nine. Can you wrap your head around no, that? No, I can't. Just taking on the emotional baggage of those songs and Who's Loving You, songs like that, that for a kid at nine to be able to portray that emotion in his songs, it's amazing. So, um, what's next? What's next for me? Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that there's going to be a lot more musical theatre now. Um, that's because you're so good at it. Well, that's because of where I started. You know, straight out of school I did musicals and it just feels like home for me. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back at the star of doing another show and another <laughs> show and another show. So if someone's watching us now and thinking, that sounds pretty good, I might go and see that show. Give us yeah. a big shameless plug for Thriller Life. No worries. Um, come down and see Thriller Life. It is a fun-filled show all about Michael Jackson. And who isn't a fan of Michael Jackson? If you're not a fan, come down and you will be. And you get to see Prinny too. And you get to see me. <laughs>